everyone, this is Jennifer Stay from ColoringPagesBliss.com and I have another giveaway and review for you and this is for two products that the people at TotallyTiffany.com have sent to me and they are designed specifically for us colorists. How cool is that? I have this, a Color Keeper Stand and Store and right underneath it, a rotating design board. Very cool. But we're going to start by talking about this, the Color Keeper Stand and Store. So let me move the rotating design board out of the way. Okay, so I've had both of these for a couple of weeks now and I've been taking them with me everywhere I go. I've been to a little party at my mother's house, I've been on vacation, I've been down by my couch coloring, I've been here in my studio coloring, and I've used this Color Keeper Stand and Store in a lot of different ways. And I must tell you, I am really impressed and I have found a lot of ways to use it. So let me take you on a little tour of it and and show you how cool it is. Now, first of all, it has a really great handle on it so you can carry it around really easy. Love that. And it's in a really cool purple color. I love purple. Now, let's get practical. Has a great big vinyl pocket on the back and it holds your coloring books, your coloring pages, and I even have a really big sketchbook in it. So that is pretty impressive. So you can carry a couple coloring books and all kinds of things back here. Now it also has a really good velcro closure. Not just a small one but a nice big one so it's pretty secure. That's impressive. I haven't had anything fall out of it. Now where it gets really cool is when you open up the rest of it really nice strong velcro look at that how cool now it has two rows here with tons of pockets I believe there's 24 pockets in all where you can put all kinds of tools now I've tried everything that I could possibly find in my art studio in these pockets to see what will fit and what won't fit and what will work and what won't work and I'll tell you all that here in just a second now it also has these elastic bands up here that are for, well, it, it says in its um, paperwork that comes with the package, it says it's for your erasers or your pencil sharpeners or maybe your glasses, that kind of thing. I found that these don't hold very many things. They're kind of loose and I felt like my pencil sharpener was just going to fall out and my eraser, I would lose it. Um, I've been using it to hold long things like longer markers or maybe my ruler for when I'm drawing. That kind of thing fits in this really well. Other than that, I found that these little loops aren't very useful. That's about the only thing that I don't really like about this um, Color Keeper Stand in Store. Um, so that's one thing that maybe they could improve on is this little storage section right here. But the rest of it is very impressive. Let me show you what happens here. What you do is you take this bottom section and you fold it up against itself like this. And then it has a little elasticized Velcro here. And it comes up and attaches right there. Now on the other side, you do the same thing. Elasticized Velcro, you bring it up and you attach it right there. Easy. Now. The more you do this folding, the easier it gets, just so you know. So when you get yours, the first time you do it, it's a little stiff. But the more you do it, the better. Now, you stand it up. This part folds back on itself and comes around. Now this little piece of Velcro then comes back here and meets back up with this piece of Velcro right here. And this becomes your stand that it's going to stand on. That's why it's called a Color Keeper Stand and Store. Now the whole thing stands up. How cool is that? 
Now, from your perspective, it's a little hard to see. So I'll stand it down like this and you can see what it would look like from my perspective. Let me get it out of the glare for you. So now from my perspective, if I was coloring, all my tools are laid out in front of me, easy to see, easy to grab. And all of them are protected by little vinyl flaps. And what I end up doing is taking these flaps and folding them around and back behind. just like this. And then I'm ready to color. And the tools are really easy to pull out and put back in as I'm coloring. And I've got my um, Sakura Jelly Rolls along the top right here. I've got a set of color pencils here. And then I've got my really inexpensive favorite Promark's Dollar Store gel pens down here. This is the set that I've been using right now for several coloring pages. And so that's why I've got these here. And that's been great. I can just pull out what I need, use it, and slip it right back in. It's been so much fun to have, and it's just that easy to fold it all back up and put it away again. And if I just want to leave it standing right by my um, sofa, if I'm going to bed but I want to come back to my coloring, then I usually just cover them up so the cat won't get to it or the kids if it gets knocked over. All the tips of the color pencils are protected underneath here and it's all safe and secure. Very cool. Now another neat thing they have here is in this pocket right here they have a really cool index card that slides in and slides out. And if you want to, you can index what you have in each of the pockets. Now I've chosen not to do that because I find that I'm always switching out what coloring tools I'm using. You know, for a couple days, I'm all about one set of color pencils and one set of gel pens. And then maybe the next day I pull out all my Tombow markers and I'm coloring for several days in Tombow markers. So I may want to switch out and have all my Tombow markers laid out. And so for me, the index cards aren't as useful because I am always switching my tools. So these haven't been as important to me. The other thing that was a little confusing to me is this index card makes total sense to me why it's right here. It refers to all the tools in this pocket. But this index card is on this flap, which I assume is referring to the back set, but because it's on the flap, it's sort of how do you refer to this back set? And if I have this flipped over and out of the way, then you can't see that index card anyway. So maybe a little redesign of that card is needed. Just a little thought for um, the people at Totally Tiffany. Now, the rest of it is fantastic. I love it. I'm going to be using this all the time. I know I will. And I can also see me taking all the coloring supplies out and lining up all my drawing supplies for when I draw my coloring pages because I use a ton of different kinds of markers and, and pencils and things, and this would be perfect for that as well. So I love it. Now, you do have to be a little cautious of what tools you put in. In their paperwork, they say you can hold three color pencils per pocket. Right now, I have in each pocket the Staedtler 1270 set that I did a review on recently. These are smaller than normal pencils and they are triangular shape. And you can get all three in here, but it's very snug. Now, you can also get three Faber-Castell polychromos in here. Those are a little bit larger, but to get them in and out easily is tricky. So the three per pocket is a tight fit. It's workable, but very tight. If your pencils are any larger than your polychromo Faber-Castells, I don't think it's going to work. You can get two gel pens per pocket, and that's pretty much any size gel pen that I have tried so far. Those will work. Now, I also tried putting two of my Zig brushables in each pocket. 
they fit just great and I was really excited about that because I could get my whole set that I have of the Zig brushables into this Color Keeper stand and store. But the problem I had was when I had two of them down in the pocket, when I tried to remove them and bring them out, the lip of each pocket snagged on the bottom lid of the dual tips and would pop the lids off and I would end up pulling them out and then I'd have these lids stuck way down inside these pockets and it was really hard for me to get them out. So I had to put only one of these in each pocket and that was frustrating because then I couldn't hold enough of my Zig Brushables in this to make it worth it. So if you have a dual tip with two caps, you need to be careful because it may not work for you because your caps might get lost when you start pulling them out and they get snagged on this ribbon tape they have here on the edge of each pocket. Now, I also tried some fat markers like this Prismacolor Premier Marker and my Sharpie highlighters, and both of them will fit one marker per pocket. So if you have some larger markers, like your Winsor Newton markers or your Copic markers, they'll all fit one marker per pocket. So you'll be able to do 24 markers in this keeper. So that's really nice too. This would be so great to take with you to a color club or if you're going scrapbooking, this would be really fantastic for that purpose. Or if you were headed to the hospital for a procedure and you wanted to bring some coloring with you, this would save it's so nice up on top of your little desk that comes across your legs in the hospital bed. This would be so perfect for that. Wouldn't this be a perfect gift for someone going to the hospital? All right, so fantastic. I love it. Well done, Totally Tiffany. Now the second product that they sent to me was this rotating design board. And I must say, I was a little perplexed when I first got it. It's a little different. I've never seen anything like it before. It's sort of like a Lazy Susan. It's two pieces of wood. Um, the top board is just nicely finished with a very smooth finish. And it's very bright white with a nice big clip. Nothing too fancy, it's just an ordinary binder clip. And then the back has um, their logo and it's got some nice plastic feet so it won't slip on your tabletop. It's got a hole here which I still don't quite know what that's for. Now the pivoting mechanism in the inside is running on ball bearings and it runs really smooth and quiet which is really nice. So the idea is that you take your coloring page and I've been putting a piece of card underneath it to protect the board because I'm worried that the marker is going to bleed through and ruin that pretty white board. <laughs> so the idea is that you put your coloring page on this board and then you are ready to color. So if I was coloring then I'm good to go here because I'm on my board. And then instead of, of rotating the coloring page, you rotate the table to a better angle for you. Now at first I thought, okay, that's kind of clever, but is it really necessary? Because we don't really, I mean, you could just rotate your paper. This seems sort of unnecessary and sort of an extra fun thing, but not really something that everybody needs. So I was playing with it and all of a sudden I realized something was happening and it was that I didn't have to move this part of my arm because I was moving the board instead of my arm. And I thought, you know what, if I was having a high pain day or if I had carpal tunnel issues, um, there are some days where I have such high pain I put a brace on that totally stabilizes my wrist and if I was having one of those days where I was totally stabilized it might be really handy to have this board to be able to rotate the board and move my wrist and arm less 
And so that's when I started thinking this might be of use to some of my my community, my coloring community, because a lot of you guys have high pain like I do, and you guys might like having something to help you because this would let you rotate and move your coloring page a little easier without having to move your wrist so much, especially if you're doing your color pencil coloring. So that's when I started to really like this idea. Now it has a few downfalls. I feel like it should be a little bit bigger. Um, it's I think it's nine inches by 11 inches. And so your eight and a half by 11 paper just barely fits on it. I feel like there's no place for me to really rest my, my hand. And so I'm resting my a elbow on the table and it just feels a little awkward. I, I had to get used to it and it still feels a little awkward even after using it for a while. Now, the other problem I see with it is they suggest you can use it as a lap board. And so I've been using it downstairs um, while watching TV and that's fine except I can't really rotate it. And because it's made from wood, it's, it's heavier. And so it feels heavy on my lap where usually I would use a clipboard or some other type of just single small thin wood to, to rest my coloring book or coloring page on. This is two thick pieces of wood plus a mechanism for the rotating. And so it becomes pretty heavy. And that, I didn't enjoy that having that on my lap. And so I wish it was either thinner wood or maybe made from some sort of sturdy, rigid acrylic um, so that it could be lighter. Um, so that was my only critique on this. A little wider and thinner so it would be lighter, but it would still need to be nice and rigid. So other than that, I really liked this little rotating board. Now another use you can use this for is to use it like a Lazy Susan. So if you weren't using it for coloring at the time, but you could still put it on your desk or you could put it in your art studio wherever you you happen to be and you could put your color keeper stand and store on it and then you could rotate it and get to the tools in the back and then rotate it around and pick out your tool from the front. So it has sort of a double way of using this rotating design board. Now I was thinking there's a lot of other ways I could use this board down here. I'm often, when I'm drawing my um, coloring pages, I often turning them and looking at them from many different angles. And so it might be nice to have it on this board and I could, I think I would be turning it and looking at it from different angles a lot more. So that could be fun too, just to have it more movable more often. But there again, I think I would want the board to be larger. So I guess I could clip a larger board onto it if I wanted to. So anyway, very fun. I, I'm quite impressed with the products from Totally Tiffany. I spent some time on their website looking at all the different kinds of things that they are producing and they have a lot of neat organization products and all kinds of things that would help organize an art studio or an art desk. So I recommend taking some time and visiting their website and seeing all the neat things that they have available for us. It's very fun. And I want to say a thank you to them for making this available and their generosity for sending two sets of them. This, to this um, color keeper stand and store uh, is $25 on their website and they have sent two, one for me and one for you guys. And the rotating design board is $20. And again, they have sent two, one for me and one for you. So let's talk about it. How can you guys get your hands on one of these awesome color keepers and design boards? Well, I've got two and I'm gonna pick one person to receive both of them as a set. 
Now remember, there's a link up in the description of where you can go check out these products for yourself and order one. So check that out when you're done watching this. And now let's talk about what you need to do to enter for the giveaway. It's four little things that I need you to do. First, I need you to like this video. Second, I need you to subscribe to this channel. Third, I need you to comment on this video. Let me know what are you going to put inside of your Color Keeper stand and store? What kind of products are you gonna put in it? Gel pens, color pencils, markers? What are you gonna put in it? Where are you gonna take it? Are you gonna take it with you to a different um, coloring group? Or are you gonna take it with you to the hospital? <laughs> what kinds of things are you gonna do with your Color Keeper stand and store? And the fourth thing I need you to do is to share this video. It helps my channel to get more um, traffic coming into this channel if we share these videos around. And the more traffic we get, the more times we'll get seen by companies like totally Tiffany so we can get more giveaways for you guys so please four little things like subscribe comment and share that's all you need to do and you'll be entered in the giveaway for this awesome color keeper stand and store and the rotating design board I'm going to randomly pick one winner from the comments below come back to this YouTube channel and look for my video and I will announce the winner of this amazing package of this coloring system from totally Tiffany thanks for watching this review and video and I hope you guys have a wonderful colorful and beautiful blissful day Bye-bye.